We're going to try a new style of video today called Weather in 100, where we keep it 100 in less or about 100 seconds. We're having an active pattern of tracking. Let's go ahead and dive into all the details and keep it as simple and short as possible while still being as detailed as possible. Starting with the next couple of days here across much of Michigan, we're looking at upper 40s and perhaps low 50s for temperatures. Turn our attention to next week, though. Thursday, Thanksgiving rolls around and bam, we drop back into the 30s and we stay in the 30s for a good period of time there, at least about a week or so. Upper, or should I say, low 30s, upper 20s for highs and then back down to mid 20s for lows. That pattern is going to be in line with the latest CPC guidance, issuing a below average percentage for the entire, basically the entire Midwest, plus portions of the East Coast, et cetera, et cetera. Basically just says that, hey, we're going to have below, below average temperatures around that November 28th, which is Thanksgiving, to December 2nd time frame. And what is the average in Michigan at December 1st? 40 degrees, give or take a few, across the state. So anything below that will be below average. Now, Tension it turns to our upcoming active pattern that continues to be shown on models. For, starting with the GFS, we have system one. We are tracking from Monday afternoon into Tuesday afternoon. Rain begins lower peninsula, snow begins up, upper peninsula around that Monday noon time frame. We could see several inches of accumulation up there in the UP, but for the majority of the LP, this system will be, I almost said snow, will be rain. After the system moves into Canada, our winds turn out of the northwest, and that could kick up lake effect snow, which could bring accumulations to the western part of the LP, but mostly for the UP in general, that's Tuesday afternoon and into the Tuesday evening time frame. Next system to watch is directly after Thanksgiving. Models disagree, though. We're going to have to track this one a bit closer. But the European, for example, brings a couple inches of accumulation across much of Michigan after Thanksgiving, especially for that Friday and Saturday time frame. Whether that's going to happen or not, we're going to have to narrow some things down. But overall, active pattern continues here. We'll keep you guys updated and we'll track this as it all evolves. Stay with us here with MSC. We'll have another update for you guys come Sunday evening.